What's up everybody, I'm Mir and welcome back to another tutorial. And today we're going to be taking a look at the elevate door. To the untrained eye, this would just look like a normal door. You press the button, the door opens up and you can walk right through it and after some time, which allows some friends to pass through as well, the door will close back up and you're inside your base. But what you don't know is that when you actually stand inside the door, as it closes, it will take you up to a secret level. And this is where you can have your secret base or some secret stuff like my blue and pink pajamas. And then once you're done on this level, you can go back down by standing in the door again, pressing the button and you'll be transported back down to the entrance. This design needs a 3 by 6 block space and is sectioned up in the following blocks. First of all we got our ground, then we got a 5 block gap, then we got our first floor, a 2 block gap, our second floor, another 2 block gap, then we got the roof and then on top of that we need 3 more blocks of space and that's all the space you're gonna need for this contraption. We are going to start off with the bottom part of this door, so for that we come to the front, place 3 redstone like this, place 2 observers facing backwards into some pistons that are facing upwards, then on top of these 2 redstone we're going to place 3 observers each, then on top of those we're going to place some redstone dust, and then an observer facing backwards on both of those, some more observers over here, and then some last pistons over here, and over here. And that is the bottom part of this contraption done. Next up is the top part and to start off we're gonna destroy these 4 blocks, drop down a level and we're gonna place 2 observers facing downwards and 2 observers next to that facing sideways and on top of these we're gonna place 4 repeaters, 2 on 4 ticks and 2 on 1 tick, we're gonna come to the back here and I accidentally set that up, we're gonna place 3 blocks up, we're gonna destroy the middle one and replace it with an observer facing downwards and then we're gonna remove these two blocks, place some more observers like this, some more on top of that, we're gonna place some redstone lamps here with some redstone dust on top and some two rails over here. And lastly we're gonna place in the pistons, so we're gonna place two sticky pistons on these and then a normal piston to end it off. And that is the top part done. Now we need to glue everything together and to start off we're gonna place some buttons, one on this side of the door and of course one on the other side of the door, we're gonna place our buttons on top of that, and then we're gonna come to the back, we're gonna destroy all of these blocks, we're gonna place some redstone dust on these, place some observers, one facing this way and one facing this way, they point both into a no block and then from that no block we're gonna go three blocks up into another block, place two blocks to the side of it, one with a redstone repeater on four ticks and then some redstone dust. And that's the first part done. For this next part we're gonna come to the side, we're gonna remove this block and this block, then we're gonna place some observers facing downwards, and once we reach this point we're gonna place one sideways with a temporary block underneath it into a slab, we can remove this block now, this is gonna be a redstone repeater with 4 ticks into a block and then 2 blocks downwards, remove the second one, place some redstone dust on top of it, then we're gonna place a sticky piston facing this way into an observer that's facing downwards, then we're gonna come to the back over here, we're gonna place a block over here, 3 blocks over here, 3 blocks over here and then one block over here, we're gonna place redstone dust on these 4 and then we're gonna place redstone comparators on all the other 4 and that is everything done. Now we need to do one last bit of redstoning and it is actually hooking up the input button so we're gonna come to our input level, we're gonna place two blocks, one over here, one over there, we're gonna place stone buttons, on top of those we're gonna come to the back, remove these and then place redstone dust over here and then observers facing upwards from those, like so. And that is everything done. Now whilst building this, these top pieces have actually fired, so we're gonna have to remove these again and then place some sticky pistons back. So we got two sticky pistons and then one normal piston. Now it is time to place in our door and there's a couple of things you need to keep in mind. First of all, we can use some temporary blocks to fill in the bottom part, this should be what the door looks like when it's closed, but we need to make sure to remove these two or the door will break. And after that we can fill in our open state, so we got two at the bottom for me, two at the top, and then I like using oak trap doors to make it all work. These all need to be pushable blocks and blocks that you need to walk through because this is the opening of your door. So fence gates work, trap doors work, stuff like that. 
But that is actually the last part of this door and now it is completely finished. If you want to take a closer look at this design or you want to figure out how something actually works, there will be a download link in the description where you can find the world download for this contraption as well as all the other contraptions I have made a tutorial for. And that brings us to the end of the video, but before we go I've got one more announcement and that is that me and Rascal now share a Discord community, you can find the link to that down in the description, be sure to check it out, it's a cool place to hang out with us, talk with us, and get some insights on the projects that are going on in the background. But anyways, if you like this video, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and all the good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys, bye.